the waves. Maybe the best they've been. Some incredible barrel rides this morning. More excellent scores falling. And Gabriel Medina already on his way to his best finish in this contest. Takes the first ride of semi-final one. You could feel it. Not only in the water, but on the beach. It is incredible. The goosebumps are just flying off my arms. I cannot wait for this semi-final. Who will our first finalist be? It's between Gabriel Medina and the rookie Federico Marias. I mean, look at that. That is what you come to this place to see. It is groomed like none other, and you've got this eight-foot Southern Ocean swell just pumping its way in. Here goes Marias on that magic JS surfboard, driving down the line. So composed the rookie, never lets the occasion get the better of him. And he lays down a big track to get things started here. Investing in the end section now. And again, just lean so hard on those rails, bringing that board right through the bowl. Gets the opportunity to go vertical and cracks the lip. Trying to mix things up there. You wouldn't call it a major turn, but still has so much more coming his way down the line. Even a barrel ride on offer, and he stands tall. Can he find the exit? He can't quite punch through that curtain. The barrels are thick today. Behind him, Medina gets a shot at a good size set. This thing's doubling up big time. As the 2014 world champ looks to line up the barrel, getting some speed now. A high line tram grabs that rail. Can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, so he kicks out. On the outside, he gets this set up, and uh, these are the ways you want. They're going to line up down through the car park section into impossibles. This is where it starts to reel off for him. But he is so good at using that rail and even doing something similar to what John John was doing, where he pulled the rail and then accentuate the car down to the bottom way, drive through the car. And that's the point of difference that he's been able to bring. Again, top to bottom, straight out of the bottom, turned into another car. This combination here is solid. Yeah, that combo, that big carve into the big hit off the lip. There was a, a lot of points in that. Have a look at this inside section, though. Uh, I mean, it's a dreamy J-Bay. And if he'd been able to not pull up and just pull down to finish that ride, we would have seen nines again. We could still see nines. I mean, uh, the surfing that he's been doing has been pleasing the judges. They've loved it. He's been putting up, you know, nines pretty much all event long as, as soon as it started getting into the good conditions that we've seen. But, I mean, it is so hard to contain yourself and pace yourself. Look at this carve here. But then the technique, watch him drive the arm through. So good. And then into the bottom turn, snap combo. Again, attacking the lip, getting loose. And that's hard to do with all this wind. It is blowing 20 knots out there offshore. See what Gabe did here. He takes off on a, on a wave that looked like it was going to line up way down the way into the impossible section. I think that's why he made the choice with all this foam on the face to go this one. And there it gets into clean water. But again, it's going to be tough. You're riding shortboards out here. They're going to feel small under your feet. They're going to be chattery, especially when you have that white water under your feet. So, I mean, equipment choice, you, you don't want to change it up too much. But at this point, sometimes a longer board would feel pretty good. You had a surf out there this morning, Pete, and uh, stepped things up. You said a, a slightly longer board felt perfect it in did. these conditions. I mean, the 6'6 felt like a short board. I mean, these guys are going to be right. 6'2s, I mean, they're way better than I have ever been. But I'll tell you, just to, to smooth out the lines, you know, with all this wind, and the, uh, the thing I noticed most was the amount of energy in the swell. Yeah, well, the wind is a huge factor. You saw uh, Matty Wilkinson really struggle coming to grips with it. Frederica Moraes doesn't seem to have any problem. I mean, he was the first guy yesterday to score a 10 on absolutely pure carving. I think the goofy footers are going to be having a little bit of difficulty. Their big scoring rods are that huge hook off the lip. And you could see Matty Wilkinson get hung up a couple of times out there. So I think the Goofies today are going to be looking for this big, uh, the big tubes through the inside. You can see Gabriel uh, here looking for that big tube. Great tube stance. The guy's got a great tube technique. Let's see if he can make this one. So that's going to be the big point score. And he makes it. So I think uh, that guy's definitely following the right path for the Goofies today. And uh, awesome looking around. Massive carve off the top. You can see he did the big carve on the inside where the wind is much less of a factor on the inside there. So those big... 
still managing, even with that win, Pete, to get his board right up at there into the bowl. And I think Sean was right. He waited till the perfect time there on the inside. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, again, making a choice, seeing down the line. So reading this way very, very well that it's going to hit that impossible section with a lot of energy. And see, he's just waiting here going, when's it going to give me that big open wall? Sets it up, slows down, but realizes the next section was pretty fast. Nice read there. And that's the extra barrel, but really, I feel like more of the points here, another three or four points are done by these cars on the inside, especially this final one here. Nice steep section, attacking under the lip, hooking it down, pulls it off, and kicks out. That's the kind of finish you want to see. Strato Wazaluski out there in the channel. How did it look for you, my friend? Wow, it was an epic scene. The wave just perfectly backed off for him. He had to negotiate through that tube, though. It wasn't an easy ride for him, but when he came out, he had a perfect canvas just to go to town. I mean, the thing lined up so perfectly, and he just belted it twice on the inside like you guys were talking about. A beautiful ride. These waves are just incredible to watch out here. Julian Wilson and Matt Wilkinson breaking it down. Both pretty excited, obviously, with the conditions that we've had for this contest and the battle that just unfolded. Julian now has a really big test. He's up against Felipe in semi-final two, just around the corner. But right now, the man from Portugal is up once again in his first head-to-head -head heat with Gabriel Medina. He has started strong, 8.1 on his first ride. Finding some cover on the outside there, getting a, a nice barrel. The wind really picking up at the moment. But Fred, not letting it affect his approach, still able to let go of some big carbs and set up this inside pit. Standing tall. He'll find the exit. Just under 20 minutes to go. It's going to be a solid backup score for the rookie. And obviously, as a rookie, he's been coming up against the best guys. And a couple of times, he's been able to break through into the quarters. I think in those scenarios, he let the occasion get the better of him. And he lost a little bit of composure. But now into the semifinals for the first time, he looks so focused and in tune looking for a big result here how's that here i mean just I mean, he, he hasn't been able to do anything wrong and again with this win he's been able to negotiate it well, as sean thompson was saying you know you got to make adjustments and he's got to make an adjustment within this heat because it's already picked up another 10 miles an hour offshore so uh it's going to feel a lot different on the wave i mean we're looking at it straight on and it's got those little ribs in the face you can imagine when you're on the way but federico just able to mix it up and uh, look at what he does here. He sees eyes on the lip, turns down early because you can't go way up there. If you do, you're gonna have all that chop and all that wind blow you out the back. But then here, Reed's like, oh, I've got another lipper to go hit. And he does, connects with it, falls down completely with the lip and keeps control. Somehow finds a barrel after this uh, performances over the, over the championship tour. He was one of those guys that would definitely get in your grill. Well, here we go, Medina. He has to make his move here. He's got to put a big number up. A strong start. Medina has a fantastic success rate. Winning ratio when he gets to semi-finals. He's working this small one over. 19 semi-appearances, 14 victories. And in nine of those semi-final heats, he's had 17 points or better. So he knows when to apply the pressure. A smaller wave, so he really does have to go to town. When you think about what Fred was able to do on big sets, Medina had to let it all hang out there. Did he do enough? Yes, he did get himself out of combo. He's going to get that 7-3-8 that does get him uh, just to that one wave, which is exactly what he needed to do. He needed to do it early because there's only eight and a half minutes to go. It's, yeah, and of course, Freddie doing a great job going, hey, you're going to take this little one? I'm going to make you take it by pushing him on the outside section, so he goes for it. But... The carves he did on the outside, nice and smooth, you know, good in transition, no mistakes, that floater he has. We're... We'll get back into that replay in a moment, but right now, live action. And Marais up, trying to get rid of an 8.1, big drawn out carves on the outside. Banking so hard, putting everything into these moves, but he gets caught behind here and goes down. So unlikely that he'll replace the 8.1 feel that way because it was a nice complete ride we'll take a look again it isn't the biggest wave but again when you can take these waves and they're going to have this beautiful pace especially with the back end because he has that distinct advantage in the back end to go vertical big float here and that's that ability for him to pick up speed off the off the off the top which uh, is hard to do 
And again, look at how vertical he goes. That was a beautiful turn, very spicy. Much different than we've seen from anyone else. Well, Wilk goes the only other backhander, and uh, he just didn't quite have that same power through that move. And a good finish. Cool. You would say, yeah, I feel like this is gonna do, I mean, the surfing was, was incredible. You know, a good, nice, healthy mix of different styles of turns. You know, I guess, it's, I guess the real, you know, is how much the judges will put on the fact that that wave was smaller. Uh, forgive, you know, and, he, and see, he was proud of himself for fighting back in that one. I'm proud of him as well. Well, here we go. Medina, this could be shot at that huge number. He has a quick look at it down the line. He kicks out. He doesn't have priority, so he can afford to have a, a bit of a squeeze at some of these long lines down the point. One of the new class of 2017 cracking the last heat of a championship tour event. And it's just look back. I mean, you're, you're going to give me the stats. Let's wait. Well, we got some up and right. Here we go. When Gabriel was the last time out. a rookie just came on tour and took a win? Oh, man. Well, I know Jackson and Andre did it. And that's, I mean, but that was... 2010? Yeah, eight years ago. Uh, Medina did it, 2011. There we go. Came in during the mid-year rotation, won an event over at San Francisco. Here we go, Medina up. Beautiful first turn, a smaller wave. He has to go bananas on this ride. Bit of foam on the face, making it difficult to serve. Medina, the body language, still engaged. Not but he goes down on that section. That's it. The Portuguese. What are we going to give this kid nickname? Portuguese Man of War. <laughs> I mean, just unbelievable. Look at him. He's wearing blue. It's perfect. <laughs> but Freddie taking this one through to the inside. Richard Doc Marsh with tears in his eyes as the rookie tears this one apart. He's on his way to a final and has a chance. And Portugal is celebrating for sure. They've waited a long time to have a, a new representative on the CT. Tiago Perez, I, I bet he's out of his seat and jumping for joy.